nearly a year and a half. Opening statements and testimony are underway in the George Zimmerman trial. Day one just wrapping up a few minutes ago. The proceedings, though, began with shocking words used against the man accused of killing 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. Our Ryan Raish has been following every word inside that courtroom. He joins us live tonight from Sanford with the highlights from day one. Ryan? Yeah, guys, today we heard two totally different styles with opening statements inside that courtroom. One spirited, the other long-winded and detailed, but both giving a glimpse of what's to come. Pumps. These pumps, they always get away. Playing on emotion, prosecutor John Guy repeatedly and without filter reminded the jury of the words George Zimmerman used before shooting Trayvon Martin. The state's opening argument, passionate and raw, that at times made the Martin family cry. Guy portrayed their son as an innocent, unarmed kid, and Zimmerman, a wannabe cop. The murder of Trayvon Martin was the product of two worlds colliding. Defense attorney Don West showed a distinctly different style. His icebreaker, a joke that didn't go over too well. Knock, knock. Who's there? George Zimmerman. Nothing? <laughs> That's funny. He seemed to regret it after lunch. No more bad jokes, I promise that. The defense went on for hours, telling their story through more facts and visual aids than emotion. West refuted some of the state's evidence, including the well-known claim that Martin was unarmed. Trayvon Martin armed himself with the concrete sidewalk and used it to smash George Zimmerman's head. The openings shed light on what's to come, with one side arguing self-defense, the other murder, and doing their best to convince a jury. That George Zimmerman did not shoot Trayvon Martin because he had to. He shot him for the worst of all reasons, because he wanted to. Now, the first witness took the stand around 3 o'clock this afternoon. We've already been through a few before they recessed just a couple minutes ago. Now they're saying this trial will only last about two weeks instead of the original four. Uh, coming up at 6 o'clock, find out why defense attorney Mark O'Mara asked the judge for Trayvon Martin's parents to leave the courtroom. It's coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, live in Sanford, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.